If you are someone who's never battled with acne and you know people who are suffering from acne, do not tell them to drink water. Do not tell them to wash their face. Do, don't, we already are doing all of that and it's not working. Hi everyone, a very warm welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Kaizen Tsuho and if you're an oldie but a goodie, hey girl, hey. So before we get into today's video, I have some interesting news. The much awaited giveaway is finally here. I finally got some time to go and pick up the giveaway goodies and yeah, this is literally them. This very heavy <laughs> packed bag is the giveaway. So in my relaxed hair Q&A video, I basically asked you guys what you would like as a giveaway because we had reached two significant milestones, one on Instagram and one on YouTube. On YouTube, we had just done or reached 8,000 subscribers, but now we have just surpassed 9,000. So yay, so we're doing a giveaway for that. Basically a road to 10K now. And on Instagram, we have just gone past 6,000 thousand followers so if you are not following me on instagram i highly recommend that you do my handle on instagram is kaizen Tsuho. so yes that giveaway is basically to celebrate those two major milestones and on that video the natural hair q a video i basically asked you guys what kind of giveaway you're looking for what do you want and a lot of people responded by saying that they would like natural hair products which is obviously right up my alley so i just thought to myself like what would i want to give people that are or that were a part of my natural hair community and i basically picked out all of the products that you could possibly need as a natural hair girly i've literally got i'm gonna take you guys through absolutely all the products that i have and this is all gonna go to one lucky subscriber so yeah so essentially this is it let me show you guys what i picked out for you and then I'll tell you the conditions of the giveaway. So the first thing that I picked up is the infamous satin bonnet. I actually love this bonnet so much and I still use it even now when I'm relaxed. I picked up two. They were the last two that were on the shelf. Everyone always asks me where did I get my bonnet from? It is from Diskim and this is basically the brand. This is the Evolve brand. This I actually also got introduced to through a PR drop that I got when I first started my channel. So it's kind of like a full circle moment to, to be sharing this and giving it away to a subscriber. The next product that I have is one that I absolutely love. Obviously we had to have Native Child in the giveaway. This is a Native Child Shea Butter and yeah, amazing. I think it was the first shea butter that I ever used on my journey and you guys will know if you have been on this uh, channel that I absolutely am obsessed with native child products, well was. Um, the next one is the Curls in Bloom Leave-In Butter. This is a butter that I got in a PR drop towards the end of last year. Curls in Bloom is a new kid on the block in the natural hair product world and I was so super impressed with their product. Um, yeah, if you guys watched that video when I was reviewing the whole, the whole Curls in Bloom range, you'll know that I liken this to the Nilotica butter as well as as well as the Afro Botanics Triple Butter. It is so incredible. I think they're doing amazing things and their price points are incredible. The next product that I have is this Evolve um, detangling brush. It's incredible. I think this is a dupe for the Denman brush. I did see the Denman brush, but I didn't want to get it because I've never used it. I just bought what was tried and tested. This product also got introduced to me through a PR drop that I got when I first started out my channel and I still have this brush and I still use it it's absolutely incredible that was my cap okay the next thing that I got for you guys is the edge styler this also I got introduced to in a PR drop and I absolutely loved it I love that it's like double edged so you've got the bristle brush where you can kind of comb your hairs and then this one for when you can actually define and style your hair so and it also has a rat tail comb at the end so it actually has three kind of components that are really super handy for a natural and then for your deep conditioner i got this that i absolutely love i don't know why Cantu doesn't do this in a bigger like packaging but um it's basically the Cantu deep treatment mask I think every single natural hair person swears by this. It's absolutely amazing. And I definitely had to throw in some Cantu Child because you know, they were with me from the very beginning. So 
and also keeping up with the trend of Cantu, I've got you a leave-in conditioning repair cream. This is the only leave-in conditioner that I pretty much loved and used um, and that worked really well. This tub is huge guys and it's going to last you a very long time. Oh, another native child product. So I've got the co-wash, the deep conditioning co-wash that I also reviewed on my channel. And if you guys have seen that video, you will know how much I absolutely loved this product. I love the fact that it could be used as a co-wash and I was really into co-washing my hair and not shampooing my hair all the time. Um, you can use it as a deep conditioner. You can use it as a conditioner off the shampoo. So it's an incredibly versatile product, three purposes in one. And we love our multi-purpose products, child. What else do I have for you? Okay, oh wow, wow. I actually wish that this was, this was for me, this whole giveaway. Anyway, I've got the Palmer's Moisturizing Coconut Shampoo. This shampoo smells so incredible, but the thing that I absolutely love about it, and I actually still use it now, it doesn't strip your hair. So it's the one shampoo that my hair absolutely loves that I can literally like shampoo twice if my hair is dirty and I know my hair is not gonna feel like stripped and dry. So I absolutely love that. And then guys, the OG. Okay, wait, let me do the last product before the OG. Every natural hair person needs a spray bottle. I got you guys a nice spray bottle that you can kind of do your concoctions in here. Like if you want to put in your leave-in conditioner and water, put in your oils and kind of moisturize your hair midweek, you can put all your stuff in here and then you can just spray. So there's that. And then the OG, my one and only, the holy grail of my whole regimen when I was natural and still use it now, Jamaican black castor oil. The one and only Jamaican black castor oil. Let's just have that focus in case someone wants to get it for themselves. So yeah, this is what I've got for you because I feel like it really helped with just the overall health of my hair. Um, this is the only oil that my hair really loved and enjoyed and was receptive to. Helps with your hairline as well. So I thought, you know what? Why not pop that in there for you? You literally have everything you will ever need as a natural hair person in this bag. So I'm so excited to give it away to one lucky viewer. And I think this is just a very small token for me to say thank you so much for, you, for supporting me throughout this journey of being a YouTuber as well as on my Instagram. I really appreciate you guys and I really hope that the winner of this giveaway enjoys the package. So how do you stand a chance to win? I must firstly disclose that the giveaway is only open to South African residents. So in order to stand a chance at winning this giveaway, I need you to tell me in the comment section of this very video, what is the one thing that you have learned through the years on my channel? It could be a video from yesterday, from my very first video, but I want to know what is the one thing that you've learned from the channel that really stuck with you or that really resonated you, resonated with you and why? I will keep this open for one week and then I will post on my YouTube community page who the winner is. Obviously, it will be random. And again, as I said, it is only open to South African residents for now. Okay, good luck. Okay, so now that the giveaway admin is out of the way, let's get into today's video. So I've been battling with acne, I guess, probably since high school. I started to get like hormonal breakouts. I wouldn't say that it was bad, like it was like a cystic acne that needed me to go on, um, like an Accutane or an Aretane, but it definitely was something that bothered me. On this note, I just want to build on to say that Whenever I've had like these acne eruptions in my life, it is something that really, really knocked my confidence. And as a result, I have been very quiet about me trying to fix my skin because I know how harsh social media can be. I've seen people who have opened up and yeah, the trolls really just trolled. And yeah, I think that if anyone has ever suffered with acne, you know how people are just like, it's just your skin, it doesn't change the way that you look, you're still beautiful and blah blah, and yes, we agree, like, yes, you can be beautiful and still have acne, but it would be great to be beautiful without the acne, right? And if you can fix it, then why not? So recently when I experienced um, some hormonal acne that resurfaced again now in my adulthood, 
I really wanted to deal with it as silently as possible, like on the side, fix it and just be like, hi, this is the acne journey. And then I spoke to my dermatologist about it and I told her that I, told her that I have a channel and I'm really apprehensive about sharing this on my channel. And she was like, you know what? I really think that there are people that could benefit from your journey and from the type of acne that you have and your experience. So share it with the world, you know, share it with the world and just be authentic about the journey. And I thought, you know, if I actually continue to deal with this in silence, I would really be robbing someone of an opportunity um, who is going through something similar to mine and needs help. So why not open up, be vulnerable and share exactly what's been going on and take you guys on the journey. So those who appreciate it, appreciate it and the trolls, goodbye. If you are someone who's never battled with acne and you know people who are suffering from acne, do not tell them to drink water. Do not tell them to wash their face. Do, don't, we already are doing all of that and it's not working. Today is officially my one month mark on my new regimen and on my acne treatment. And I just wanted to come on camera to show you guys how my skin looks. I'm pretty sure that if you guys have been on my channel over the years, you kind of have seen that there is something that has changed with my skin texture. I think that this month and today as I film is a better day. And to be honest, I'm much happier with how my skin looks, but I still have two more months of the treatment. Um, but wow. I'm so like the way that my skin is looking now, I feel so much more confident and so much better about the whole process and about the direction that my skin is taking. But I must also overlay it with the caveat that obviously people are different. You might do exactly what I'm doing or your derm might tell you to go on exactly the same things and you might not be where I am at the one month mark. Or you might look at my skin and think, her skin is shit, what is she talking about? <laughs> I personally am happy because, and I'll put up the photos to show you guys, the before and the after of where we are, look, Personally, me, I am happy with where we are on this journey. And I think another thing that helped um, kind of fast track the process for me is that I nipped it in the butt the minute I saw it. Because I've had acne all my life, I know the symptoms. I know when things are about to go south. And more than anything, I think I'm just grateful that this adult hormonal acne struck at a point in my life where I could financially just do things myself. I could do what I thought was best. And I only hope that you are in a position watching this where you can as well. So with regards to the dermatologist consultation, that cost me 950 Rand and you have to pay it cash. If you are in medical aid, you can then take that receipt or that invoice and then claim from your medical aid who will then reimburse you. The products that she told me to use for my skin, she basically decreased everything to three products and I am using Eucerin. So these are the three products that I'm using and I'll zoom in for you guys to kind of get a clearer and a better look at everything. So this is the face wash that I'm using. It's gonna be the line that's green and it's called the Dermo Purifier Oil Control Cleansing Gel and it's literally the most gentle cleansing gel. And I think that when you go on acne treatment, you do need something that is not harsh. It doesn't have any exfoliants in it, nothing. It just gives you a good cleanse as a base for the other products that are going to follow. The next product that I use is this moisturizer, also from the same acne or blemish prone skin line. So the green line, if you go to Dischem, you'll see there's a green section, there's a blue section, there's a red section. The products I'm talking about, they all are from the green section. This is the mattifying fluid. So it's basically a, a very mattifying moisturizer. Because of the type of acne that I have, I have comedogenic acne. I think that's how you say it, comedogenic or comedogenic acne. It might be hormonal, it might be genetics. We really don't know what could be causing this type of acne. But what my dermatologist said is that my pores get clogged they don't open up and as a result, all of the sebum and all of the dirt and the bacteria of the skin gets clogged in the pores. So in order for us to reduce that, while we are ingesting things and helping the skin clear from the inside, on the outside, whatever we are applying topically cannot be oily, cannot be heavy, and cannot be things that kind of encourage the overproduction of sebum. We need to make sure that the skin is always as dry as possible, but still feeling comfortable. And I must say, this product is very light and not drying at all. I don't, I don't find it drying at least. 
and then the next one is obviously sunblock that i have to use during the day this is an spf 50 sunblock and also from userin and this is the it's also in the acne um oily acne prone skin it is called dry touch sun gel cream and ultra light and i absolutely love this product there is no um it doesn't leave a white cast on your face it doesn't irritate the eyes and when my derm recommended it because she is a dark-skinned black woman also very important if you're going to go to a derm go to someone who has skin like yours from a melanin perspective because they get our skin okay so when she recommended this i knew that i would not have an issue because if she uses it i can use it right if she doesn't have any issues with it she's not talking about any cast on the skin or anything like that i'm not gonna have an issue with that so these are the three products um i really don't remember how much these are i think that they are in the range of the hundreds to 250s kind of so i am on an antibiotic the antibiotic is called tetralysol and i'm on 300 milligrams so the box looks like this and in the box there are 28 capsules so enough capsules for a month as i said i'm on a three month treatment and i'm on my second box now i'm starting my second month of the treatment but because this is an antibiotic you obviously have to use um, a probiotic you can get this at this chem as well there are 60 veggie caps in here and then i take this before i take my probiotic i got this on medical aid um, I didn't have a co-payment with it and then this also I got on medical aid and I didn't pay a co-payment the probiotic is 234 rand and 89 cents i think that the antibiotics were 411 rand and 85 cents so in combination with antibiotics i'm also taking a topical treatment this is called epiduro and it's a mixture of adipoline and benzyl peroxide and it's kind of like a gel this is a schedule 3 drug so all of the things that i am ingesting you probably need to get um, a prescription from your dermatologist for it don't know if you can see this but it's basically like a white tube a white bottle with like a pump and it's got like purple and blue on it and the pharmaceutical company is galderma so that's essentially what i'm using i know that a lot of people either use um different or they will use epiduo so i'm using epiduro between the antibiotics and the epiduro one of them is 411 rand and 85 cents and the other is 366 rand and 27 cents and as i said it's for three months so multiply all of this stuff by three the skincare stuff i think lasts for more than a month so that you won't be needed to buy every single month what i learned about epiduro and my dermatologist also warned me do not use more than you should and do not take it more times than you should so the current schedule that i'm on is i take my antibiotics every day with my probiotic and then the epiduro i will apply it every second night and you have to apply it at night because it has um like a retinoid which makes your skin sensitive to the sun that's why it's also important to put sunscreen on because if you don't your skin is going to burn and and also the marks on your face or the spots on your face will go darker because of sun exposure so yeah so literally with this you only apply a pea size i think that i will film a video showing you that skin routine taking off my makeup what i use and what i have noticed now since i've crossed the one month mark my skin does get get sensitive and i think whenever i feel like that skin sensitivity it's just a note to myself that i probably use a bit more epidural than i should have but i probably think that as time goes on my skin barrier might kind of get compromised or become weak i don't know what the terminology is of it so i'm quite conscious about that and just making sure that i still like stick to the right kind of um, quantity that they recommended which is a green pea size another thing that i learned off the youtube streets is on the day that you use epiduro your derm will, will tell you basically how to apply it so you have to avoid the sensitive eye areas wherever your skin is thin so around your mouth around your nose as well as around the eyes do not put epiduro there do not put epiduro there so what i do is you put the medication on you have to let it settle and then you can go to bed when you sleep on your pillow obviously you're turning every night the medication will spread so in order for in order to prevent it spreading what i do is i actually apply vaseline around my mouth around my nose and under my eyes the cool thing is that i found is since i've been doing that right on the days that i use epiduro 
those areas of my skin are so supple and so luscious like vaseline is your friend another thing that i also must caution you guys on is if you also get diagnosed with comedogenic acne or if you feel like that's probably what you have like the bumpiness and your pores being clogged and your skin is rough it's not pussy it's not sore it's just bumpy really really bumpy and rough then i think that also look at the makeup that you're using make sure that all the products that you use in your whole skincare routine are non-comodogenic products if you guys were on my channel a few years ago I say that like I've been on YouTube for years, probably two years ago. I basically did a review on um, Estee Lauder, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And one of the things that I punted on that video was that the foundation was non-comodogenic. And now I look back and I'm like, only God knew that I was preparing myself for this moment. But there are quite a few other foundations that I use that are okay for my skin. I'm not sure if they are comedogenic or not, but they, they really treat my skin well. So it's the Bobbi Brown one, um, as well as Lancome Tainted Doll. I love the combination of those two. I usually mix them together because the Tainted Doll gives me coverage and the Bobbi Brown gives me that dewy finish that I absolutely love. And also obviously hygiene factors, make sure that your brushes are being washed more than you normally would if you weren't experiencing a breakout because our makeup tools harbor bacteria guys and so you don't want to be kind of clearing your skin and then reversing it by using a sponge or using a brush that has bacteria on it right because you're kind of gonna you're gonna be setting yourself back on the journey so that's another thing that i wanted to just also mention okay i think that's literally it I think we're done. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. If you're keen on entering the giveaway, as I mentioned, let me know what the one thing is that you've learned from my channel that's resonated with you or that's stuck with you. Leave it in the comment section. The giveaway is going to be open for one week from the day that I post this video. And yeah, good luck. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.